guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to be sitting down and filming a video because I've been away for the past week. So it feels amazing to be back. I went to the Maldives and I got a natural tan for once in my life. How crazy! I haven't got a real tan in the longest time, so I'm really happy about that. So in today's video, I'm doing a first impression and review on the new Tarte Shape Tape foundations. There is a hydrating foundation and also a matte foundation and these Tarte Shape concealers have been my favorite concealers literally ever since the day I got my hands on them. They're amazing, so full coverage. They don't look cakey. They just, these are the best concealers in the world. So I'm really, really excited to try these out and see if they're just as good as the concealer. I mean, it's going to be hard, but we're going to find out today. I'm going to leave my makeup on for the entire day. And I'll keep coming back with you guys. Keep bleh. and I'll keep coming back every few hours or so to let you guys know how it goes on my skin. So we'll be trying out the hydrating and the matte foundation, one on each side. So, um, I mean, we're really going to see if it's going to cover up all these pimples. Oh, I've never had breakouts this bad. Well, I mean, I haven't since I was in high school, so I'm like so upset about it, but. At least we can see if it's high coverage. <laughs> okay, so I gave one of the shades to Michael. Um, so I'm hoping the others are my shades. So it comes with a sponge and also a brush right here. And the foundations are, let me just see how much, 54 Australian dollars, which I think is pretty reasonable for like a high-end product. That's pretty much, you know, standard. Just so you guys know, I did get this sent to me, but that does not make this review any different to if I was to purchase them. So obviously I'm going to be as honest as I would be if I paid with my own money. I don't know. I don't really want to use the brush that it comes with just because like I never really use these and I want to use the beauty blender just so I know exactly how the foundation works and it's not going to be changed. Like my opinion won't be changed by these products. So I'm thinking I'll use this in another video. I think just because like we're really gonna focus on the actual foundation in this video because we need to see if it's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna read out what it says on the website about this foundation so we can learn a little bit about it. So it says, it is a vegan, oil-free, full coverage foundation with a creamy texture and modern matte finish to complement your cult favorite concealer. That is really high expectations. Like, if it's comparing itself to the concealer, like, wow. It provides the same coverage as the concealer Wow, it smooths over pores and imperfections with rich airbrush full coverage that dries into a matte finish using a unique concealer inspired wand. That's cool. I like when they have the wands, <gasps> but if you have breakouts, it's not really good, is it? Because you're wiping it on the, con on the breakout. I'll just go around it. It's fine. The formula absorbs oil and shine while leaving its skin creaseless. That's a big a statement creases because I get the worst laugh lines right here hydrated free of flakiness or cakiness and helps improve skin health with every application Wow interesting Tart tip because the formula is so full coverage. You want to be sure that you have the right shade for your complexion <laughs> I feel like that was written for me because I always <laughs> I never get the shade right, but I have I have like two to choose from three the mat so it's fine why we love it dermatologist tested hypoallergenic waterproof long wear waterproof jesus long wear vegan oil free talc free alcohol free okay that's cool okay so let's go in and apply the foundation so i have two shades right here for the matte foundations i have medium tan honey and tan honey so i think i'm gonna try medium tan honey first because i think that's yeah that's lighter all right so i'm gonna do the matte on this side Actually, no, I'm going to do the matte on this side just because there's so many more breakouts and I feel like the matte might be a little bit more full coverage. Okay, so I just gave it a good shake. It comes with the same kind of applicator as like the Clinique foundation and the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. So I'm really, really quite happy about that. I'm just concerned because I can't go anywhere near that. Let's just go in. Oh, that color's nice. Okay, I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so full coverage. My first impression, I'm really impressed. I'm going to it down my neck. That color's pretty good as well. <laughs> I'm 
I can't believe this is actually happening. Like the Tarte Shape Tape foundation came out. What the hell? If this isn't my favorite foundation in the world, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm actually so shocked right now. I haven't seen any other reviews, so I don't know what other people think of it, which I'm really happy about, because I didn't want my opinion to be like changed by anyone else's, but. Okay, I'm creasing like straight up. <laughs> That's like so normal for me, but I cannot believe how beautiful that looks on my skin. I knew I would like the matte one better, even though I haven't even used the hydrating one. That looks amazing. It just looks so, it looks so light. Like it doesn't even look like I have any foundation on except for that creasing, please go away. But like it, oh, the finish is so beautiful. I'm gonna go in with the medium tan honey on the other side as well. Um, I did notice that the hydrating and the matte um, formulas have a little touch of a difference with the color range because I went to give Michael both foundations so he could do a review as well. And the two shades were a little bit different. One was more pink, one was more yellow. So hopefully they're okay. I'm gonna have to blend that down my neck a little bit, but I really, really love the color of that one. It's a nice neutral shade. It's not too yellow. All right, let's do the other side. I don't know, I don't feel like enough product kind of comes out on the applicator for me just because I apply so much um, foundation. <laughs> Unless you really like swirl it around, it does. All right, let's see how the hydrating side's gonna go. I'm just gonna use the other side of my beauty blender. Hmm. Okay, very first thought. This is not as full coverage as the matte one. I knew that would happen because I can still see the redness of this breakout right here, that one and that one. But on this side, you can only kind of like see the bumps. Oh, that crease is so bad. I don't know, this one's kind of like a little bit blotchy as well. See, as you can see right now, I have the same lights on both sides of my face and you can see this one's reflecting a lot more light. And this one's just like completely matte now. That's dried down really nicely. So this one is amazing. I don't even think I really like this one, to be honest. It's very wet. I'm gonna go in with more product to see if it um, adds a little bit more coverage. Oh my God, I just went over my pimple. That is so bad. So it's gonna be like, ew. All right, let's see how this looks. Yeah, it's definitely not building up to like a full coverage on this side it is a really nice like you know light to medium coverage though okay so i'm gonna take my necklaces off so i can blend like some bronzer down my neck so it matches perfectly but right now i'm just gonna go in with the tarte shape tape concealer in the shade light medium and i'm just going to put this under my eyes just to conceal and then i'm gonna go do my makeup off camera and i'll get back to you guys on what i think on how everything like blends out but i just want to see how this product blends out over the top of the foundation oh my god that looks amazing over the matte side i just can't believe how well like it covered all of my breakouts i'm so glad i did the matte on that side because the hydrating side would look so yucky on all my pimples i just had some of my iron tablets and all these other vitamins and i can feel it coming back up it's so gross <laughs> Before I go, I just want to give you guys a little close-up of what the foundation looks like. So this one is the hydrating side. It still does look very beautiful, really fresh and light on the face. And then we have the matte side right here, which I think is more of like the, you know, makeup that you'd wear at clubbing, like the full coverage matte look. It's not too matte, doesn't make my face look cakey. Still have a nice reflection through here, which I love. Yeah, let me know what foundation you guys like better in the comments. And I'll see you in a second. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup. <laughs> okay, so my makeup is done and I didn't put any lipstick on and last time I did that, everyone's like, what happened to our lips? Where are they? Look how small they are now. <laughs> well, the filler is pretty much gone out of my lips. So let's see how the face looks. So my overall opinion on like the first application, the hydrating side was like a little bit blotchy in this area here. I'm not sure what happened there, why that even happened. Cause I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't happen if I did it again. It was just like my luck for the first time. 
Um, the coverage is really beautiful. Um, obviously a little tiny bit of a lighter coverage than this side. I would feel like this is more of like an everyday foundation and I feel like the matte one is when you want like a full glam, like clubbing kind of look. I absolutely love the way the matte foundation looks. It looks incredible. This side really reminds me of the finish of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and that one is my favorite foundation. So that's a good start. So I guess everything's going to come down to how it kind of lasts on my skin, what happens throughout the day. So yeah, I'm really impressed with both of the products. This one especially, as you guys would know by now. But I don't know, I feel like all the products that I put on over the top, this side looked a little bit better by the end of it. It did at the side as well. This side, like everything applied really nicely over the top. But I don't know, I just feel like this one looks like a little bit better, even though there's like a little breakouts on this side. Like, oh. Well. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys very, very soon. So... It is five o'clock in the afternoon now, so I guess I'm gonna have to have the makeup on like all day, all night. Yay. All right, see you guys soon. Hello guys, so it's 11 o'clock at night. It's been six hours and I'm so freaking tired. So I thought, I'm oh, not in the middle. So I thought I'd come back and see how my makeup looks. So I haven't looked in the mirror yet. I'm excited to see how it looks. Um, I didn't really notice like a massive difference after three hours. So I didn't think it was really worth coming back. So I thought after six hours, we could see how it lasts. So I think it's amazing that I didn't really have to check back in with any bad news three hours ago. So let's see how it looks. Okay. So... These lights are so bright at this time of night. What's going on? The first thing that I'm noticing here is where I was saying it was really blotchy before, it's even more blotchy now. So I feel like it's kind of like my foundation has kind of come off um, right here. But I don't recall like leaning on anything. I don't touch my face ever. So what else is going on? So yeah, that's the hydrating side. All the redness from my pimples are kind of like peeking through a lot more actually. Um, my laugh lines are pretty bad. That needs to be rubbed. The other side is looking incredible. I am so impressed with it. Like it's actually insane. I am so happy <laughs> because I'm so picky when it comes to foundation. So I'm really glad that I'm loving this one. It hasn't gone blotchy in any areas. Nothing's faded at all, which is incredible because it has been six hours. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, all of the makeup, like all the highlight and bronzer and stuff is holding on perfectly to my foundation. The bronzer on this side has faded a lot. So I don't know why, but you can kind of see like the highlights still popping because all the lights, but the bronzer on this side is a lot more intense. <laughs> All the foundation is off around my lips. <laughs> Ew, I have food on my teeth because <laughs> I just had dinner. <laughs> I'm just going to see if it looks cakey around my mouth because that's where it gets really dry. Mm. I guess on the matte side, this does this area right here and like above my lip looks a little bit, a little bit dry. It's probably like the best the foundation has lasted on my skin. So yeah, I guess that is the finished video now you know that the matte foundation is incredible the hydrating one definitely needs another go to see if this patchiness is something that's gonna happen all the time i don't know but yeah i would definitely recommend the matte foundation unless you have very 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 dry skin i'm not sure if it would look cakey on you just because this area right here is like a little bit dry looking but if you do have very very dry skin maybe the hydrating one will be better for you and if you have oily to normal skin the matte one i think will be really really nice on you so again i have the shade medium tan honey oh wait no 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 no. oh yeah medium tan honey my bad okay i love you guys so so much i'm really happy we have a new favorite foundation i know that's really dramatic like if i only want it one day but I have high hopes. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I need to get my nails done today.